I love the Smiths. Sorry? I said I love the Smiths. From the Smiths, to Adele, to Radiohead. People all around the world love to listen to sad songs. But why? New research from the University of New South Wales suggests that people paradoxically enjoy the sadness of vote in these songs. Author of the study, Professor Emery Schubert, said, it's paradoxical to think you can enjoy something that makes you feel a negative emotion. But this research shows the first empirical evidence that sadness can positively affect the enjoyment of music directly. The study argues that the sadness in the songs is mediated by an inexplicable feeling of being moved. The paradox has been well documented throughout history, suggesting that humans find a strange comfort in experiencing sadness in a controlled environment as a sort of catharsis. Some research even suggests that listening to sad songs can release the hormone prolactin that reduces feelings of grief and sadness and makes people feel more connected with others. Do you like making people cry? I think yes, actually. Like, it's kind of cool to see people crying at a show. Whatever the reason that people enjoy sad songs, the research will continue to provide insights on the human psyche.